So basically, this exhibition starts, first of all, from discussions uh, I've had for a long time with Sam Tourze, the director of Rencontre d'Arles, who has been aware for a couple of years about the importance of the Turkish contemporary art scene and photography. And he, he offered me to do an exhibition about this uh, two years ago, but we were looking for a co-curator who lives in Turkey and who would be really uh, aware of art and photography. And so I met a lot of people and then I met also Ilgin, who was a perfect person uh, for this project because she is like me on the one hand in contemporary art and on the other hand, many of her friends are photojournalists of the new generation, like 20 years old. So for me also, as someone who's been uh, working with artists from Turkey for, for five years, but also writing about, about Turkey for publications, I'm both aware of art and, you know, journalist situation. So we kind of immediately understood each other uh, with different uh, visions, but complementary. And uh, we've been working for one year together, Ilgin and myself, uh, with, to decide on the artists, and she came to France a couple of times, I went to Istanbul a couple of times, and that's how we, you know, we start the whole project. Actually, when, when, when you uh, get this idea of making an exhibition about one country, it's actually hard to have a, have a statement, like you really need to have a rigid statement, otherwise it would turn into something like a pavillon of things, like uh, just because they are their uh, origins, I mean, I mean, the works uh, shouldn't be there. So there must be a common statement of all those elements. So we said uh, uh, when when we look at uh, Turkey today, uh, what, what is the mo most important thing to uh, to to have an exhibition in an international uh, to to share with an international community in another country? So. Uh, the most the, the the most complex thing about Turkey is probably like it's it's um, it's hard to understand like to analyze because of the ongoing situation, and uh, so we uh, focused on actuality first, and then uh, in order to treat this uh, the, the actuality actually we used uh, we uh, checked all the artists visual artists who had the, also the same. Uh, let's say guts uh, to look at things with their own disciplines, also the photojournalists and journalists. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, yeah, I must say that in the last 15 years since, uh, you know, under the rule of Erdogan, like this uh, constantly changing rule or uh, sort of, I mean, he's trying to make tools to, to control people, uh, apparently. Uh, uh, I mean, there is Istanbul Biennial, which is like really old and one of the most like sort of privileged like um, uh, biennials in the world. Uh, a part of that, actually, all around Turkey, that in in small cities with with individual initiatives, there have been like many little biennials. Some of them were uh, shut down because of political situation. Some of them uh, couldn't uh, uh, just repeat themselves in, in another two years because, for example, in Mardin Biennial, uh, there was war, <laughs> uh, Syrian war, so they canceled it, but they did it this year again, for example. I mean, it's not a sort of a, because state never funds art, like there is no funds to do so. So actually, in order to overcome this oppression and this control system, Actually, the, the, a, a, a vibrant art scene is present there right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, what I've witnessed in the last five years, and I started going to Turkey uh, quite often since Gezi, so 2013, it really became harder and harder suddenly after these events, is that, as Ilgin was saying, uh, art can be um, a way to, to criticize, and whenever you have liberties um, repressed, you have creativity on the other hand. However, we need to differentiate between different things here. On the one hand, you have visual art, where you still don't have too much censorship. You do have some, but you still have a way to express things in a metaphorical way, in a you know, allegorical way. That's why, why we show some artists here, such as um, uh, Ali Taptik here, you know, who can 
you know, who can play with this thing not too direct. And on the other hand, you have a media. Whenever you are a journalist or you consider as news, then you're really, really, it's really difficult. And you can be censored, you can be jailed, as we show two photographers who have been jailed. And then you have a third phenomenon, and this is in this room, which has happened since actually uh, Gezi, uh, you know, repression, uh, even more since the uh, failed coup d'etat uh, in 2016, is an alternative way to express yourself through either internet or actually books, as you can see with Cole Han over there, who is controlled that this series of charges, the other one was a book. Uh, with here, you know, as an anonymous collective, hashtag Gezi, um, you can express yourself in different ways. Uh, being anonymous, going online, uh, actually these 140 journals over there uh, is a good example because they are very popular and they have more than one and a half million viewers and they are, on, and they are online and they would do a, a journalist work but because the aesthetic looks like more YouTube and things, uh, the government doesn't really, you know, consider them as classical news and wouldn't censor or, you know, arrest them yet, you know what I mean? So there's all this interesting way to go beyond this, this oppression and it, it's just uh, uh, allow new creativity, you know, new possibilities. So 140 journals have been considered as a model of citizen journalism now. So that's kind of what we try to show in the exhibition, you know what I mean? Not only um, the difficulties, but also the way to, to use them so that you can, you know, you can do something new with it. Mine is, uh, yeah, I'm around three or something, and uh, I remember myself, I'm running to, to, to a castle, like a, a stone castle, like a big one, and I have a green dress, and I see my sneakers, and I feel so light because I'm running through the stone castle that I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, me, it's kind of the same, that's funny, but uh, it's basically a toy, uh, and I'm playing uh, on the ground like this, and I'm also probably three or something like a little truck or something. And then I don't know if actually this memory is really from my mind or from a photography I've seen of myself. Exactly, it's the same and for me. And so, <laughs> yeah, you know, Oscar Wilde said that um, uh, uh, nature imitates art, and I think that's relevant in a way, you know. I mean, all, this, all these things that we, we use and we think are reality, maybe we've seen them in, in the news or, you know, and so that's the interesting thing also about this exhibition is we try to basically <coughs> deconstruct the official fiction that, that Turkey is, but also going beyond the way that we understand reality by on the one hand showing the real reality that the news can show and on the, hand show, and on the other hand show works of artists who you know, deconstruct this fake reality that, that is tried to be built in this country right now. So always playing with that. Uh, well, I mean, uh, just to be able to, uh, to connect with people with sort of like whole different kinds of backgrounds and, uh, and cultures and to be able to connect them through images and also through mind. Like I, I get lost in, in talks that I, you never want to leave here, you know. I just slept at 6 a.m. just because you know, uh, we had interview and something, so it's just this, this, uh, this um, conceptual geography that is common in people's minds here. <laughs> and for me, I mean, I would say until this year, it was, I think, Patti Smith's uh, concert um, and, and with, with photographers from, I think, Myop Agency. But this year, there was this uh, event with Aslo Erdogan being read by Rashida Brakni, a really really important actress, and Asfer Doan is this uh, very important Turkish writer, woman writer, who has been put to jail because of things she's written, and she's really a hero of, of freedom. And anyway, uh, I was there, and you had this reading of this text I know so well, uh, and in the back you had some images from our exhibition, and that was just so beautiful, you know, it just made me cry, actually. <laughs> 